What's up? What's happening? What is popping? What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another great edition of Simone with the Spencers. I'm Simone, bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're older here, you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you stop what you're doing, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the mini links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help you this channel. The second link is to shop the official Simone with the Spencers, a merch collection, get you the classic tee, the wavy tee, or the fly or die crew neck for all of my birds fans. And lastly, guys, Guys, turn your notification bells on because you already know the videos are coming like boom 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 and you don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream so make sure you are tapped in here but guys let's get into it so first of all we got a couple of things we got a lot of things to get into today training camp wise so for the rundown of this show um, we are going to first talk about some training camp notes from the day and then we're gonna be talking about some guys who have been disappearing They've been quiet at training camp. And we got to talk about some guys that are just haven't been making no noise at training camp. So we're going to get into it all uh, right now. But first, let me just say, I want to start off with this press conference piece. It's AJ Brown talking to the media. And he's talking about how going up against Darius Slay and going up against James Bradbury at practice is like the best like practice situation he's ever been in because it's tough, 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 tough work every day. So let's hear this quick sound bite from AJ Brown today. Whenever I'm going against Slay, I know I gotta be precise, man. Every step matters, pad level matters, and I gotta be cleaning up, clean in each and out out of the break. And if I don't, it can go the other way. And Brad Bradbury is the same. So he, he's a longer corner. Um, he does a great job with his hands. And uh, it's the same way. I got to be on my game. So going against these guys in practice, it just helps us ready for whoever we're playing against. So like, I, I think I'm really getting my best work each and every day of practice. Yes, I love to hear. He said this is the toughest, toughest practice competition he's ever gone against. And like I said, the offense going up against this defense, y'all, I keep reiterating this on these videos. Um, this is training camp day. I don't know, y'all. I've lost count. I believe it's training camp day 10. I believe it's day 10. Um, including the open practice. I think the open practice was practice nine. Um, but yeah, what I keep reiterating in these videos is that this offense is going up against an elite defense. So these guys are getting really good reps. Every rep at practice, the first team at least, is getting some really good reps. So shout out to AJ Brown, shout out to Darius Slay, shout out to James Bradbury for getting the best out of each other. But let's get into our notes from camp. So first of all, today, we're getting into the notes from day 10. So Nick Sirianni has been re reiterating the fact that he wants Quez Watkins to get more involved um, during practice. So today, Jalen Hurts made sure Quez Watkins got more involved. Um, Quez had two, well, that's redundant, but he had back-to-back -back catches today, and one of them was a diving catch. So Quez Watkins has been somebody who's been continuously a top performer at training camp. He had that one. He was out one or maybe two days with an illness. It was nothing serious. And like I said, he only missed one or two days. Um, and now that he's back in the rotation, like I said, Nick Sirianni wants to see him getting involved. Um, that Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown connection is definitely there. But Nick Sirianni wants to see more receivers and, you know, more pass catchers like Dallas Goddard getting involved than just Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, Jalen Hurts to A.J. Brown. So, moving on, um, Gardner Minshew has been struggling at camp, you guys. Um, Gardner Minshew had a pair of interceptions. He threw a pair of interceptions today. Josiah Scott um, picked him off today, and he's just been a turnover machine, y'all, at training camp. I don't think Minshew has had one strong day at camp. He's been struggling. Um, Reed Sinet, our quarterback three, has had a good camp so far but right now Minshew has not been looking good and that's a little worrisome he's our backup quarterback but y'all you know how we are about backup quarterbacks like we want to know that our backup quarterback is a sure lock like we won our Super Bowl because we had a really good backup quarterback so the way Gardner Minshew has been performing is not comforting at all and also you guys Jalen Hurst is going into a make or break year God forbid Jalen Hurts does not have a good season. God forbid. But in the event that Jalen Hurts, let's say, does struggle at some point this season, we want to know that we have a good backup quarterback. And if Minshew has been struggling all camp, that's not comforting at all, you guys, because 
like I said, God forbid Jalen Hurts is struggling at some point. Who do we got behind him? Who do we have behind him? Last season, Jalen Hurts got injured that one game. Um, it was the Jets, granted, but Gardner Minshew came in and won us that game. Um, so us being uncomfortable right now with our, an uncertain right now at quarterback two is really, really – it's not, like, extremely, like, oh, my gosh, we're going to lose because Gardner Minshew is playing bad. But it's the fact, you guys, that we're not even a 1,000% sure about Jalen Hurts. And now our backup quarterback – is not looking good so let's just pray Jalen Hurts balls out because if he doesn't who's coming in behind him (laughs) that's basically what I'm trying to say so the offense today moving on the offense today have been working um against our own goal line so like we're pinned deep the guys have been lining up right up against our own goal line and you know Jalen Hurts having to be under pressure get the ball off quick be decisive avoid you know getting sacked in his own end zone so it's been that kind of work for the offense today and Jalen Hurts has been looking good the whole offense has been looking good today in that scenario um he had a nice sideline pass to AJ Brown um working up against the goal line today working up against our own end zone today so like I said that was the work today you know some days we're working in the red zone but today we're literally working on the opposite end of the field um so it's good to see those guys you know practicing in every single kind of game day scenario so jordan Malata and andre dillard were back today um they were gone with the concussion um protocol but they were back today but they were limited but it's good to see them back And lastly, news-wise, Jason Kelsey, today he underwent elbow surgery. He had to get some sheaths scooped out his elbow. Don't know exactly what it is, but they're saying that it's very minor, um, but he did undergo surgery. They're saying that he should be still be available week one. Um, So that's like, ah! So I guess Friday, Cam Jurgens will be starting in our preseason game against the Jets. Today's Tuesday. I highly doubt Jason Kelsey will be ready to go by Friday. But that is not a good thing that Jason Kelsey got hurt or whatever he's got going on. But it will be cool to see um, Cam Jurgens getting those all those. And, of course, it's preseason. Jason Kelsey wasn't going to be playing all four quarters of preseason anyway probably barely be playing but it's good to see that cam jargons will likely be getting all those reps because we do want to see fully what we have in him um and what we have in our backup centers so let's just hope jason kelsey is ready week one like i said they're saying that this is not a big deal at all and this is something he should easily be able to be back week one for so we're just going to keep our fingers crossed there and y'all i'm super excited about the preseason game against the jets because this is the time we'll be able to see our guys up against other competition so like i said i'm super excited for friday and of course i'm gonna be doing a video after the game breaking down you know everything that went down in the game so we're gonna have eagles football on friday but y'all that's all the news and notes from this week at today at practice my bad I keep saying this week from today at practice but I do want to go so Jeffrey Knox he is a writer for fan sided the Eagles fan sided page shout out to Jeffrey Knox he actually put out a list today of players that have disappeared at training camp so we've been talking about all these players like I said I've done at least seven videos training camp videos and we've discussed like the the top performers and not even just the top performers sometimes we discuss you know guys who haven't had a good day but most guys have been having good days but there's been some guys that we've rarely talked about and they have really disappeared at camp and like I said Jeffrey Knox dropped a list and these are four players that he had on the list that have completely disappeared at training camp one Anthony Harris which I do not like there has been no news coming out on Anthony Harris doing good or bad just been no news period on Anthony Harris and it's not just because oh he's a vet um there shouldn't be any news we've been hearing news from Darius Slay we've been hearing news from James Bradbury they're making big plays and making getting interceptions pass deflections they're making big plays and we know those are guys who are two roster locks for sure and two veterans but they've still been making plays at camp we haven't been hearing anything about Anthony Harris we re-signed him which I'm annoyed about because he was subpar and average last season and now we're just bringing in that subparness back this season because like I said he has not done anything so far at camp Greg Ward Greg Ward is another guy who we have not been hearing about at camp you guys so lap the season before last when Doug Peterson's last season Greg Ward was getting 70% of the snaps but last season Nick Sirianni 
only had Greg Ward playing 20% of the offensive snaps. And that is a huge dip down. So Nick Sirianni already doesn't value Greg Ward, obviously, in his offensive scheme. And then for him not to be showing out at camp, that's like, ooh, okay? So he did have a toe injury that set him back um, a little bit at camp. But also, Britton Covey has been playing really well. Like I said, Britton Covey was playing in the slot. Britton Covey is our undrafted free agent out of Utah. Um, he was playing in the slot two days ago. He's been doing really well on special teams. And Britton Covey is looking like, he going to push up on Greg Ward, y'all. He looked like he going to push up on Greg Ward. But Jack Driscoll, he is another one who has been battling a little bit of injuries. But Jack Driscoll just doesn't look like he's improved at all um, at training camp. He has not done anything to stand out at all at training camp. And it's looking like his injuries might have got a little bit of the best of him because he's looking really slow down. Um, he's a young guy, but he's looking really slow down like an older guy would at camp. Um, and lastly, Fletcher Cox. And like I said, Fletcher Cox is an older guy. And we've seen Fletcher Cox in the past kind of be sub subpar at practice and training camp. But he really looks like he's just going through the motions at camp. He really looks like he's just... Like I said, going through the motions, he's on cruise control. And it has nothing to do with him being a veteran because Brandon Graham has been balling out. Like I said, Darius Slay has been balling out. And these are guys who are veterans. These are guys who are locks, but they have been putting an effort at camp. It just doesn't seem at all like Fletcher Cox is really putting in that effort. But don't slip or trip, Fletch. You know what I'm saying? We got big Jordan Davis ready to take your spot. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like, show some effort. Have some fun. It's camp. Like, have fun. Ball out. Act like you want to be there. Like, sometimes you just be acting like you don't want to be there. But, y'all, those are four guys who just have not been showing out at camp. But, y'all, make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Check out the links down below. Buy me the coffee. Help fill this channel. Shop the official small with the Spizzle. It's a merch collection. And tell us about you guys next time. Bye.